Hello, everybody, and welcome to our brand new show throughout the month of November, Comic Book Wrestling. CBW is here. It's time. Joined in the booth today is Animus is here. Hello, Animus. How are you today? Kiss my ass. Oh, okay. He is, uh... So, if you folks missed it, the Halloween special... I don't know uh, if you saw, but Animus did lose the Gingerweight Championship to the Raven. As we're kicking off tonight, though, with Bonesaw McGraw versus Spider-Man. Now, Animus. Yes. Who do you think should win this matchup? Well. What is that name? Macho Man Randy Savage. I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> Bone size ready! Comic book wrestling. Now you're a comic book fan. I am. Do you think uh, Bone Saw was inspired by any inspired by any particular <laughs> character in comic books? You know, I'm not sure right off the top of my head. I'm more of a more of a DC guy. Oh, we'll get there, folks. Don't worry. This full month of comic book wrestling, full of DC isms. Uh, Lots of DC guys. Actually, later on tonight, I don't know if you guys saw it, back at PWF, there was a big old teaser for Batman to show up at some point. I guess it's paid off because now we're here. Batman and Robin, Damian Wayne, will be facing off against Mr. Incredible and Frozone for the Tag Team Championships later tonight. Now, those Blockbuster Tag Team Championships, um, they're not around too often here at Shock Wrestling. As a uh, former champion yourself, Animus, mm -hmm. do, do, and, you know, a former tag team member, would, do you ever think you'd want to go back after the Shock Wrestling Tag Team Champions? Well, you saw how the last one ended. I, yeah. I'd have to find somebody I know could handle themselves and... Not step oh. on toes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Raven and you don't seem to be... No reigniting the friendship, I see, after that burn in hell match. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> the human spider! <laughs> the human spider is here! What about the human spider? Would you ever tag team with this guy? Toby Maguire looking looking guy? Oh. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> now, I do know that uh, we've seen these two face off before, back in uh, 2002. Uh, it took under three minutes. So this match is going to be under a three minute clock tonight. Joke's on me, though. WWE can't do that. <laughs> so, uh, it's a five-minute clock tonight. Oh, it's been 21 years that he couldn't get a better outfit. I know. You know what's insane about that movie? That, that? that when he's uh, running around going after Uncle Ben's killer, and he's sitting on the top of the the one building before he web swings through the streets for that like first time yeah his mask is cgi on him. is it really it's from 2002 and it's cgi'd on i was like whoa wow yeah that's yeah you could you could if you if you really maybe i'll throw that into the edit here if you really look at the shot you'll be able to tell but yeah if you look at the behind the scenes footage of it and everything the mask is off and it's like I'm shocked they took the time to do that in 2002. Yeah. Well, you look at nowadays where all these suits are completely CGI. Uh, Green Lantern. That's a very <laughs> valid point. I guess I wasn't thinking of it that way. I'm yeah. not a fan of the fully CG suits. I'm not. You can have some practicality. Well, we, we just recently... Oh, five minutes on the clock. Bone saw against Spidey. <laughs> or human Spidey. I don't know. Uh, what to determine him as as he gets a pin on Bone Saw. Oh yeah. Almost. So, um, 
that's another thing I gotta complain about. The cage match in Spider Man, the movie. Right. He he calls the match an incorrect match time. Oh, Spidey's Ooh. trying to leave but gets knocked down by Bone Saw. Yeah, they're in a cell in the movie. Right. But they refer to it as a cage. So I decided to make it a cage match. Yeah, go accurate. Yes. What it was course. supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Comic Book Wrestling. Oh, big hit by Bonesaw. Oh, already oh. climbing out? Or is he... Oh, no. Oh, he's got a big move coming up here. Into a pin. Two. Another oh. kick out, though, by Spidey. Okay. The ref not being in the ring makes this feel, like, way slower than it yeah, actually is. A little. <laughs> you know, normally you got to watch out for him, though, so I'm not complaining about it. They, they do tend to get in the way. Yes, or slow count here at yeah. Shark Wrestling. I know there's been a few matchups you've been in where that problem has occurred. Yeah. I'm not oh! saying for any one side in particular, but, you know. That happens here at Shark Wrestling. We're, uh... Business full of cheats. <laughs> this is why I needed to leave Ace behind and do comic book wrestling. Uh-oh. Spidey's, once again, I don't know why he doesn't just climb. Opening the door. Oh. He changed his mind. Picking up. Oh! Insane as Bonesaw once again gets the recovery on Spidey here. Oh. It's been a real back and forth so far. Big hit to the gut. We need uh, another wrestler uh, superhero in a superhero movie. Uh, wrestler in a superhero movie. Yeah, who's next? Oh, into a LA pin. Knight. Well, oh. Bonesaw beats Spidey. Was that three minutes? It was just under three minutes, so I gotta uh, give him credit, I guess. That is. <laughs> Congratulations, Bonesaw! The win we've always wanted to see ever since 2002. Yeah. I mean, let, let's be real, he does have the size advantage. He does have the size advantage. Look at this guy. Straight out of uh, WCW. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, all right. It's a strange way to kick off the show, if I do say uh, so myself, Animus. Th um, this is a little weirder. Is it? Spidey versus Mike Wazowski. Now, Mike Wazowski has been a part of the blockbuster division here since day one of Shock Wrestling back in uh, uh, New Year's Day of last year. So, I don't know. In Spidey, he's been around a triple F. Uh, right. He's been around, in, you know, this is the real Spider-Man. Yeah. The other guy, the Spider, Toby. Uh, he, I don't know what that's about. One of those uh, Spider-Man you hire for birthday parties. We also got to appreciate, because I forgot before the fucking video game broke, I went through and took the time. Uh, praise me, Animus. I went through and took the time <laughs> to do all of those Titantrons before the game broke. Oh, Can't no. do work on the videos in the game anymore. None of them work anymore. Man, that's what happens when they record three months in advance. <clears throat> yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, this comes out in like two weeks from uh, the time of recording. It's not to break kayfabe, <laughs> but WWE's newest update broke the game. Universe mode deleted all its saves. Did it really? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I am um, being very cautious of <laughs> update 1.19. You can't see it, but I'm staring at my at my PlayStation, going, "You better not have." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't update. Uh, my PlayStation's been on rest mode. Oh, from PWF, Mike Wazowski. Look at all this pyro. Kind of, kind of letting himself go a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's the B show. We get more pyro than any other show. Yes, every Thursday throughout the rest of this month, CBW. It's here. Comic book wrestling. It's all leading up to our next big event. 
uh, which, you know, the Shock Wrestling Universe is slowly falling into crisis. So, Mike Wazowski is here to save the day <laughs> against Sp Spider-Man. Who has had the more enjoyable m recent movie? Uh, was it Spider-Man No Way Home or Monsters University? What's your uh, pick, Animus? Can we call Monsters University recent anymore? I don't think so. It feels... It's been a while. Huh? I gotta Google this. Hold on. Yeah, well, you gotta f pull that up, Jamie. We gotta f find these facts here as Spidey is immediately taking down Mike Wazowski. Once again, classic player here. He, uh... He's been at Shock Wrestling since uh, the rebranding and reboot at the beginning of this year. So, I do hate to break it to you. Uh-huh. Monsters University is 10 years old. Damn! Came out in 2013. <laughs> wow! That's insane! 2013, really? Yeah. Uh, it, my, my bones feel a little brittle all of a sudden. That, that's so long ago. As Spidey from the top. Ooh, yeah. Oh! Mike Wazowski counters it. Uh, the British announce table is not at their table. Oh, yeah, they're by the stage during the first episode. I don't know who plans the shit. As Mike Wazowski is taking on Spider Man. If Mike Wazowski was this, this might be the upset of the century. Oh, yes! Uh, it's been a, a week! I think. It's been a week since the new Spider-Man 2 game came out. Do you like it, Animus? What's your review on this <laughs> new Spider-Man 2 game? You know, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of where uh, Bruce Campbell came in out of nowhere in the final boss fight and punched me in the face. <laughs> I can't believe Venom's Gwen Stacy. I, uh, I, I've been waiting for that reveal. And, I, yeah. I can't believe Carnage was J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> the whole time! Ah, oh, man. What a time to be a Spider-Man fan. Great game. Great bullying by Spidey onto Mike Wazowski here. Now, Animus, are you a fan of Mikhail? Yeah, you know, that's, that's a loaded question. <laughs> okay, because he gives me Mike Wazowski vibes. Yeah. Because he's a loser! Good job, Spidey. Uh, it, the the song that should should be playing here, Animus, is the '90s Joe gotcha. Perry Spider-Man theme. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> As it should be. Good, Spidey. What's next? What do we got? Oh, it's that big tag team matchup. Well, Spider-Man won. The Human Spider lost. I believe that next week, though. Uh, they're supposed to be facing off against each other in a matchup. Spider-Man versus the Human Spider. Yeah. Next week on CBW. But now it's time for what we've been waiting for since that final episode of PWF. It, the Incredibles, Incrediboys, uh, Mr. Mr. Incredible and Frozone got back together in PWF. Won the tag, the Blockbuster Tag Team Champions. Um, and then... Batman appeared. Now, I, <laughs> animus. I can't, I can't help but notice something about that <laughs> suit. <laughs> I don't know if uh, you recognize this, but apparently, to my knowledge, in the old lore of the SWWE universe, he was in the George Clooney suit it, back in oh, no. like 2K18 and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So we're here. And that is uh, Damian Wayne with him. Even more, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I, we, we now Animus... We, we couldn't I gotta, get one of the good Robins? <laughs> well, listen, I had to write a whole list because I don't know if you know the lore. I'm looking at this napkin that I wrote all this information down. Uh, shout out to Robert, thank you, and of course Ace. Punk. Um, so, apparently back in the day, uh, okay. Joker uh, somehow manipulated Dick Grayson into joining... So, the, 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 what we know in the current canon of these comic book wrestling characters is Dick Grayson is with the Joker, and I don't know if he's like a JJ or something type of arc going on, and that's why Bruce had, I mean, 
not Bruce, I don't know Bruce, uh, Batman had to uh, bring his son uh, here. I'm I'm just as confused as you are, but uh, Rob, Ace, uh, it's your fault. 100%. Could be one of those, uh, you know, like we were talking about before. Dark Knight Strikes Again. We don't talk about it. <laughs> yes. Ah! Oh, now! Hey, this is where I really need to get something out of you, Animus. Oh, no. I was not a fan of The Incredibles 2. I wasn't either. <laughs> yeah. You're not I, alone uh, on that one. Man... It's so sad that I hate that movie so much. It, is. it doesn't deserve hate. It doesn't. But I do. I can't help it. I mean, it, it's the... Uh, it, it's what I'm going to refer to as the Kingdom Hearts 3 effect. Since, oh, since, okay. You know, Pixar I think that's might a as good well. analysis. You know, you, you hype it up for 10 years and it finally comes out and it's not what you expect. Here's the most disappointing part. I didn't need the actors... Introducing the movie to me for it to just be the same movie. <sighs> you get it I'm all so out. I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blockbuster Division Tag Team Championship on the line. Uh, what a perfect time. I think uh, it's time that maybe, I mean, as you know, Animus, it's yes. finally time for us to talk about DC characters, I guess. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Batman and Damian Wayne. James Gunn said that he really wants to do the father and son story. And then he keeps talking about what he's inspired by to do the, you know, the Batman and Robin thing with Damian Wayne and whatnot. But am I the only one that's questioning the story he's talking about is when, because when Damian was first introduced and whatnot, he was, Damian was Robin underneath Dick Grayson more than he was Robin underneath Bruce. Right, so the Grant Morrison uh, Batman run, mm-hmm. correct? Which yes. is funny, because I kept up with that run when it was coming out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, speaking of Joker, the the story that always comes to mind for me is where he was posing as uh, immediately... Okay. <laughs> Thank God that's an end. <laughs> as you were saying! <laughs> uh, Woo! Yeah, where Joker... Uh, dressed up as, I believe it was Dr. Sexton. And, uh, Damien proceeded to beat the ever-loving shit out of him with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that was a fun issue. <laughs> Only... Grant Morrison, he's, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Only for Joker to start the entire thing, tied up in a chair, get beat with a crowbar, and still get away. Of course, it's she has still. To. He's the Joker. I mean, the Joker's not here. I don't know. I don't know where he's been at um, recently. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite Joker? Let's see if we can get some hot takes going in here. Jack Nicholson. All right. <laughs> kind <laughs> of a mid. Kind of a mid take. Right, <laughs> Yeah I, yeah, I guess it's not a hot take. I, I, I love Jack Nicholson, and of course, without the Jack Nicholson Joker, we couldn't have uh, gotten the animated series Joker, which right. to me is pretty perfect. Well, okay. Here's... I like the gangster inspiration. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, give it to here's me. A, here's a bit of a wild take. Uh, oh, my God. What was his name in uh, the Batman cartoon? Oh, yes. Yes, I, I feel that Joker's severely underrated. Um, as Damien gets knocked over here. But that oh. Joker... I'm trying to find it. I can't find... Kevin Michael Richardson. Yes. I agree. Actually, I wasn't a huge fan of the Batman series growing up, but I was a huge fan of the Batman versus the Dracula. Oh, that was good. I, I, I love that movie. I actually rewatched that a couple of days ago. It, it was on my, my I, Halloween I, watch list. That is a great you Halloween know. movie as Frozone celebrating yeah. against a child. Yeah, you know, tending to the burns, sitting on some ice packs, uh, watching Batman vs. Dracula. <laughs> yeah, of course. So. Did you go home right after Halloween and was like, oh, I need to, uh, I need to finish? Oh, no. <sighs> Yeah. So, 
how do you feel about bro batman just flicked <laughs> off the audience this this is definitely george clooney <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about um them dc comics aging up john kent but not damian wayne i I don't know I how liked I feel their about dynamic it, as they were growing up. Yeah, yeah, they should have grown up together. Now they, yeah, they should have kept that. And then, of course, Tim, forever sixteen over there. Yeah. Poor Tim. Yeah. Can't. I don't know who gave him that stupid Red Robin suit, but <laughs> it's just another R. <laughs> it's just another R. I can't Actually, be Robin because I have to go and find Bruce because he's out there somewhere. Uh, I will become the Red Robin. <laughs> isn't he actually Robin again now in the comics? I believe so, as there's a pin. A kick out, though. Defending the Blockbuster Tag Team Championship tonight. The Incredibles taking on Batman and Damien. Now, Animus, I don't know if our audience knows this. Who's your favorite Robin? Hundred percent, Dick Grayson. He, um, the epitome, the the greatest sidekick of all time. Yeah, the the OG. Uh, and uh, once again, the character's revolution as uh, uh, Frozen gets a pin. Damien stops it, flying in. Yeah, Damien's like a on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, as, I'm gonna um, let, let Bruce do all the work. I'm just gonna fly off the rope every time. Oh no, oh. Batman knocking down Mr. Incredible. The brute strength from Mr. Incredible can't feel good on good old George Clooney's bat knuckles. Now the question is, because he's obviously hurting him, are some injustice uh, super pills in the work? Or... Ah. Or the Batman's adrenaline shot. Or he had prep time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Batman's oh. not looking like he had any prep time tonight. <laughs> Frozone beating up the child. Since I'm a big fan of Frozone. Oh, yeah. Oh. He was always cooler <laughs> than Mr. Inc <laughs> <Cooler>. He was. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this Mr. Incredible gets kicked out of the ring. <laughs> I'm trying to think of DC Universe questions to ask that aren't about the Flash currently. Oh, uh, yeah. That's funny. Because I really want to ask you a question about the Flash and George Clooney, but I don't even know what to ask. Uh, I found it funny. I'm not going to lie to you. It was hysterical. It was I great. enjoyed it. I don't know what the... You're what do the people this, want? You're expecting this big setup for some future movie. Not just George Clooney. Oh. I'm so happy George Clooney did it. And I'm glad he's here tonight. I'm confused about the Batman canon in Shock Wrestling. I don't know yeah. if they're all different or if they're all the same. Well, I mean, we have two Spider-Mans. That's a very valid point. Yeah, and one of them was very clearly Tobey Maguire's yeah, face absolutely. underneath that mask. Yeah, he's falling on some hard times. He needs some Bad CGI. How much did you pay Tobey Maguire for this show? Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. That's we didn't problem. pay him. He just showed up. <laughs> It's on the back credit card. As Robin... Oh, knee straight to the arm of Frozone. Can't freeze if you can't... Oh, Wait, no. can he? How does Frozone's powers work? Does he need to use his hands? Uh... How's he? I'm trying to remember that scene. The, the scene in the first one with the, the cops. Yeah. Oh, because his problem was he was dehydrated, which is why... Yes. He, oh, I love that scene. So That's he, complex storytelling, my man. Yeah, so, so does he have, like, the, the Super Mario Sunshine, like, the water meter? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Now, how'd you... Uh, oh, big Ooh. leg drop onto Damien into a pin as Batman wa walks around. Oh, oh. whoa! Tag Team Champions retain. Insane. That was that was quite an ending to this matchup. That was actually I don't know quite where. exciting. That was so. After all that build up, I've been waiting for the Bat Family to show up for months, and they come and immediately disappoint. Yeah, you brought George Clooney and the worst Robin. I have no idea what that. Mean for Batman as the tag team champions retain 
showing their PWF pride still. Of I, course. I, I need Mr. Incredible to stop doing that. Whatever that was. <laughs> you didn't really, really get an into it here tonight, yeah. folks. Don't look at me while you do that, Bob. <laughs> Just don't look at me in the eye, Bob. <laughs> As we're moving on here tonight, retaining the championships, the Incredible Boys, Mr. Pro. Oh, what? What's that? <laughs> I guess we'll have to see next week. Uh, ah, uh, this guy. Dub. Oh no! Robert. I swear he follows me around. So he. F Follows everyone around, apparently. <laughs> no. uh, following the Raven, following the Animus. I'm gonna get a restraining um... order. Oh! Oh, look at him in his little cosplay. Is he a juggalo? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! I like that he's repping the brand, though. <laughs> Oh, I never asked you. Usually, I forgot. It's the first episode of the show. Usually, yeah. I ask. Do you like the logos I made for I do. comic book wrestling? I, I like it. I, I like it a lot. Rob wearing his uh, Warshatch uh, mask, I guess. Right? He's decorated. I he's Watchmen inspired. Yeah, it, V for Vendetta. I, I see it. Yeah, I. I, I think. Uh, he, maybe. He, he might have. He might just have issues. I don't know. I mean, once again, something I can appreciate about Rob is he, he reps the brand. Oh, once again, the video. Beautiful. With the flash. Now, this is Barry Allen, to my knowledge. Okay. No! Oh, <laughs> super fast! He's <laughs> <laughs> run, running down into the ring. The flash is here. Ready to take on Rob. Now, Rob, the gatekeeper, right? He's basically been on every opening episode of every show right. here at Shock Wrestling. What's his record? Do we know? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Super fast on to Rob. Rob's record, I don't know. He's gotten quite a few wins recently, but throughout the whole year, it's got to be at least like 20 to 100. Oh, Ooh. no! He's, uh... Faced off against every... Is that it? Okay. Oh, no. okay. I thought Rob was uh, getting ended quick there as the Flash is just it is too the fast. Flash. Too fast. Oh, go, Waiting yeah. for Rob to get up. That was slow. Into another pin. I think... I think right. he had to slow down, like Dash. You know, mm -hmm. or he's like, you don't want to... Just throwing off his momentum. Typically... Typically here at uh, Shock Wrestling, the Blockbuster division was always restricted on their powers. Uh, yeah, I'm in charge of CBW, so of course I don't care. Uh, it's comic book wrestling. Plus, it was Rob. He, he kind of had it coming. <laughs> he deserved it. I'm so glad the gatekeeper was able to appear on this first episode and get beaten <laughs> immediately by the pole. Flash. Uh, look at him outside of the ring. Go back to Ka, you loser. <laughs> Don't forget Monday Night Ka every Monday. Oh, now here's a matchup. Uh, a tables match. The Green Goblin versus the Mad Hatter. Now, as you're a comic book fan yeah. yourself, I believe uh, you you get what I'm doing here, right? Mad Hatter. I, I, uh, I do, I think. I think. Uh, Green Goblin is here. Uh, Mad Hatter, you know, he's a Batman villain. Yeah. Wow, that I feel is, like that should be enough credit. Was a serious downgrade from his image yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget, everybody, check out Community Creations. You know, if it works, by the way. <laughs> if it once still again, works. WWE. Uh, if it works. This was a great one. It's a shame I can't remember who made it. But. I was a fan. Um, I'm going to be real with you. I have seen the alternate that they made for yes. this costume, and it looks so good. It does. It's based way more off of... Uh, uh, the what? comics. No. Yeah. yeah, the comics. Like, uh, like he was channeling a little bit of Uncle Howdy here. Yes, of course. 
There he is, Green Goblin, uh, taking on the Mad Hatter. Now, these two, I, I don't know. I, I see I see a comparison that others may not. They both uh, use some, what is it, uh, poisonous gas stuff. You know, that's, sleep. That's, that's, my, that's one of my favorites. Joker. Uh, uh, well... Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter does the, the Oh, card. no, he does mind, mind yeah. stuff. You're right. I, yeah. I apologize. Or in one of the episodes in the animated series, he did the card. Now, I... It's... The cards, I believe, are what... The cards are yeah. oh. what con- are do the mind control, aren't yeah. they? Uh, yes, but I don't remember if he does them in the comics now. I don't remember how he does it now. I always liked in Arkham City... Uh, oh, yeah. How he put the bunny mask on. Oh, yeah, it was a nice change. It, it, was, it um, clicks back into that Alice in Wonderland theme very nicely. Alice in Wonderland. You know, I was Underrated. watching clips from that movie, the live action movie. Yeah. I don't know why. I went down a rabbit Dope. hole. Damn, oh, it's because it was just Halloween. I was going down yeah. a Tim Burton rabbit hole. Oh, boy. Ooh. The Green Goblin. I think Mad Hatter. You know, it is public domain. I think we need a DC movie to have Mad Hatter in it. I would be down. And, like, I think some of those characters work well for, like, the Robert Pattinson universe they're setting up. Of course, yeah. I have been saying it since the first one came out. I want a movie with the Scarecrow in it as the main bad guy. Not yeah. Some, not some Batman Begins shit. But, but we do have to give Batman Begins some credit. I'm glad they chose the Scarecrow. Like... I loved every Scarecrow scene yeah. in Batman Begins. And Cillian Murphy's great, don't get me wrong, but I think we need one where he's the main bad guy. Have you seen Oppenheimer? I have not. I haven't watched Barbie or Oppenheimer. You know what sucks? It doesn't come out until November 21st on digital, so I can't spoil Oppenheimer yeah. yet, I feel. So I'm not going to yeah. say anything in this episode. It's What are you going to spoil? It's history. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, what I was going to say is there's a really fucking cool scene where Christopher Nolan does his uh, scarecrow shit. Oh my god, the oh. Mad Hatter wins! <laughs> <laughs> Mad Hatter beating the Green Goblin. Do they need approval? Are they looking to be the most psychotic man in the ring here during this month of comic book wrestling? Oh. I'm getting all serious. It's spooky. The crowd went quiet for that. They got all scared. Oh! Uh, uh, not DC characters again. Iron Man's here! I feel like I was neglecting Marvel throughout most of the shows. So that's why I have to go and throw in some extra matches. But Iron Man gets to take on Buzz Lightyear for the Outer Rim Championship. Did you know yesterday, yeah. as, of, as of recording, Yeah. yesterday was the day Iron Man died. Yeah, I that was uh, quite funny actually. <laughs> seeing yeah. uh, so many posts about it. Oh, uh, this one is so good too. I spent so much time on this. And it's gone. WWE. Uh, time I, start. I haven't seen that Iron Man logo in forever. I, I'm a big fan of it. Oh, you, I, I want to know your opinion on hmm. this. Um. I was infuriated that they originally announced Secret Invasion with the old Secret Invasion logo. Yes. And they kept that logo for a while. And then they changed it to this shitty nothingness font. Yeah. Like, what the heck, man? I'm gonna be real. It was so close! I never watched Secret Invasion. <laughs> oh, neither did I. That's okay. Honestly, uh, for all you Marvel fans watching... Half of you guys are the pro. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting. Half you guys are the problem. <laughs> oh, no. When you keep saying you want Tony to come back, quit. This is why we can't move on. <laughs> what other saying too? Like Secret Wars. Is it Secret Wars that's coming? It's out? gonna be the soft reboot. It's like a soft reboot. They're gonna bring back all these different characters, like Quicksilver, Iron Man, but with different actors. It's like, what's the point? Here's the problem with Secret Wars, Michael. Waldron is... I'm, I'm calling you out, Michael. <laughs> you said you can't read a comic book, and I'll never forgive you for saying that. 
They're too complicated to follow along with. You're writing Secret Wars, which, in my humble opinion, Secret Wars is basically a crappy comic book series, which only significance matters is that Galactus is like, eh, this is pretty funny to watch and observe and not take part in in any way, and somebody gets his little symbiote suit that isn't even a living being at the time of the comic book. <sighs> All right. See, I told Ace I can't do comic book wrestling for this exact reason. Oh, help me, Animus. I, I don't know if I can. <laughs> You're my only hope. Where's Paul? I didn't talk about Paul during the Spider-Man matches. <laughs> Outer Rim Championship on the line. I think Iron Man could, you know, he's a great uh, contender for the Outer Rim Championship. He's uh, been, I guess not in the Outer <laughs> Rim, but, you know, he flew to the edge of the Earth uh, in Avengers yeah. and died-ish. And then in Came the back. other Avengers movie, he flew then, into the sky. Then died. For real this time. Um, where? Oh, yeah. He dies on Earth. Mm -hmm. I always, like, kind of blend Infinity Wars battle with uh, the with that, Endgame battle. Yeah. Because both places are pretty dusty. So since, since, like, we're, since we're shooting hot takes like you are about the Marvel yeah. movies. <laughs> yes. I always thought Infinity War was like such just such a much better movie. Yeah, because like yeah, Endgame's good, but it's like way too long. It doesn't really know what to do with itself. Yeah, I, the, I don't know. I I agree because Endgame to me, what I really like about it, I am just a big fan of the way they did the 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 time heist. Yeah. I was a huge fan of the time heist, but yeah, most of the, like. I don't really care about most of the movie. Yeah. I like the actual beginning of the time heist and everything. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love having uh, Hawkeye as Ronan. That was pretty interesting that, that they that's did a, that. I was shocked. Yeah, that's a huh, shock. Shock rest. Shockwave sports. <laughs> Buzz kicks Iron Man in yeah. his helmet. Oh, we. Wait, I want to know a different hot take. Have you watched Lightyear? I want to. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, I haven't. It it strikes me very but much. But I as definitely like, have some opinions on things I've seen. It strikes me very much like Star Trek, almost. So I kind of need to watch it. I want to sit down and be able to be like, okay, yeah. let me just take it all in. Yeah. And of course, half the people that complain about the freaking movie are always like, oh, but Buzz Lightyear Star Command. It's like, they oh. said it wasn't going to be Buzz Lightyear Star Command. That's fine. Y you don't need it to be. Plus, if it were, it probably would just ruin the legacy. And I do like the concept of like, oh, this is the movie that inspired the toys. Like, that that's kind of cool. Yeah. But I'm still confused. So, it's in-universe, in-universe. It's in-universe, in-universe... Maybe inside of another universe. Okay. Interesting. Because, like, who's to say this movie's not like a reboot? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's a good perspective to look at it from. They were rebooting. <laughs> well, like, like what we, like with the Star Trek thing you were saying. Yeah. Like, it's this next generation version. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Oh, it reminds me. I gotta watch Picard. I haven't watched Picard. I'm a big fan of uh, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, <laughs> fuck. What the? <laughs> that tends to happen here at Shockwave Sports. That gets cut later. <laughs> oh, no, Buzz! <laughs> what happened? Were you a fan of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command? I was. I grew up watching that, that uh, show and movie. Did you play the PlayStation 1 video game? I did not. Dude, uh, I, I didn't play the Toy Story 2 video game, but I played that Buzz Lightyear game. I, owned, I owned two PlayStation 1 games. Fuck. And it was... uh. Yeah. I love... Uh, wait. Yeah, I owned... Uh, Final Fantasy 7. Oh, yeah, and, nice. And Medieval. <laughs> okay. And those were... And Muppets Monster Adventure. Oh, at least you had an IP game. Yeah, those were the three that I had. 
I didn't have very many PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, Two. Like, there it goes. Yeah. Buzz retains. I do see the matchup, though. The, the armor. The, the suits. I, I get it. I get it. Iron Man's been to space once or twice. Yeah, totally. Maybe three times. Buzz Lightyear. Oh. Toy Story 5. Coming soon. I God, think. please let it end. <laughs> Sometime. No! <laughs> I have the hiccups! <laughs> While we're recording! <clears throat> oh my goodness. Bro! I hate PWF characters. These Pixar characters in my goddamn wrestling federation. Buzz and Woody causing chaos since the beginning of Shock Wrestling this year. I completely forgot to even say anything this whole episode. But it's time. We're introducing a new title tonight, Animus. Me and you together. Oh, no. The Comic Book Wrestling Championship tonight. Now, this is going to be a little fun for you, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, from out of this world, it's Superman. Of course, very, very clearly inspired by the Christopher Reeve Superman. Yeah, well, um, I like it. I like it. He showed up in the very first episode of Shock Wrestling as well, facing Buster Keaton. You see him fly into the yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, this is a little fun fact, comic book facts with uh, John and Animus. The Human Torch. Now, it's not... The Human Torch, as in the original comic book, Human Torch, because yes. that one's an android. Yes. But, you know, the representation's there, right? Yes. Like, in I fact, think, yeah. I don't know if you remember, uh, the original Human Torch, at least the suit, had a cameo in Captain America the First Avenger. Oh my god, you're right. I, that, that is, you just unlocked a memory. Mm -hmm. Uh I love that I have enough time to edit in pictures into this later. Oh, yeah. Because the human <laughs> torch is here. Oh, is he going to flame on? Whoa! How fancy. That that was good. That, I, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> human torch android <laughs> in Captain America. <laughs> oh, look at that. A brand new belt. Another one. That's belt number 17 here at Shock Wrestling. Is that the, the, like, the gamma bomb explosion I'm seeing on it? I believe that's the explosion of Krypton. Ah, and I believe there's a little rocket leaving it that is... Uh, suddenly a lot more sad. <laughs> I, <laughs> we're gonna I, put guess, a, I guess I just put a disaster on a belt. Yeah, we're going to put a genocide on a belt. <laughs> Maybe Superman wants to change the belt if he wins hey. again tonight. <laughs> Superman versus uh, Johnny S Johnny Blaze Johnny Johnny Storm. Yeah. Damn it! Yeah, wrong, wrong Johnny. It. Yeah. Listen, it's fine. when you have so they're many both fucking Johnny Johnnies, and they're both fire. As somebody who's named John, <laughs> pisses me off. Johnny Blaze is Ghost Rider one, right? Uh, technically, the the first but, one we know of. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one's Gabriel something, right? Uh, Dan Ketch. Oh, uh, fuck. I'm really not good with this, man. There's the the one that's Caretaker in the movie. I forget what his... That, that, that just completely missed that punch. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh... Oh! Johnny... Wait, how does Human Torch's powers work? Is, he's not the power of the sun, is he? I'm pulling back out, Google. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling back up, folks. Oh, my God. This article from <laughs> CBR, the Fantastic Four's Human Torch, is one of Marvel's hottest heroes. Shut. <laughs> uh, flames burn hotter than the surface of, of the sun at their most powerful. Okay, so by a technicality here, Animus. He is. Well, wait, does hold on, hold on, hold on. Power Superman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, we are really opening Pandora's box here. Yeah. I'm gonna sit here and think about that question all day. 
Can Human Torch go into the sun? Absolutely not. Okay. Can Human Torch just go full mercy on, like, Superman? Oh, as he's immediately going for the bell, and Superman was trying to set up a different ladder. What Superman got going on here? Climbing up to the torch. Not what, uh, He's not doing anything. Yeah, are you kidding me? An intense stare down. Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? Now, right is now? he letting him do most of the work? Oh, there we go. That's a very valid point. That is a very hard mini game here for yeah, some of us. Right. Oh no, he burned his cape off. Oh. Human Torch trying to show who's boss. Representing Timely Comics. Or Marvel Comics, sorry. <laughs> that was a joke. Huh. All you comic book fans out there. Here's an interesting thing. The yeah. Human Torch did not appear in the 1978 Fantastic Four series. He was wow. replaced with the robot called Herbie. Oh my god. The television rights to the character had never been sep had been separately licensed, although never actually used for a television pilot movie by Universal Studios, which prevented him from appearing. So, for the same reason, he was supposed to be one of the main characters on Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, but they made Firestar instead. Bro. Well, and I missed the match while I was being a fucking nerd. <laughs> now that's cool! <laughs> you have a torch wins! I look uh, back up and... Human Torch is now your comic book wrestling champion. I'm I'm actually shocked. Wait, <laughs> shocked. So, uh, shocked wrestling here. This has become bad puns. <laughs> Superman yep. looking for uh, a, a handshake. Yeah. Respect. Two great characters. Hopefully, we never see a Fantastic Four movie ever again. Um, yeah, too bad. They've already they're already working on it. I know. It's a well, SAG is still on strike. Yeah, There's no way the strike's still not gonna It could be, be worse. Over. We could get El Morte. Or El Morto, whatever the fuck it's called. The one with Bad or, Bunny. Or what's the other what's the other flamey flamey comic? Oh! Oh! Yo! Uh, it wasn't him, was it? <laughs> Devil Han! Is he here? Is, that... is he trying to continue his reign of taking on the belts? I'm sorry, is Devil Han dressed as Mephisto? Is Devil Han <laughs> Mephisto for this month of comic book wrestling? Who knows, folks? That's right. It's WandaVision tune in. all over again. Every Thursday night, comic book wrestling this month. Don't forget, check out Animus on Monday Night Call. Thank you. Goodbye.